Aim of this activity? To find the refractive index of material. Refractive index of the prism we need to find. Refractive index of the prism we need to find. So to do this activity we require an A4 sheet or a sheet of paper having 20-20 centimeters and a scale, pencil, protractor and a pins. Here I have taken four pins. Okay, these are the dip pins what we have. Now, procedure. See the first step of the procedure. Take an equilateral, Take an equilateral triangular prism and place, place, it place it at the middle of the paper. Part. Now, hold the prism like this and draw the margins or outline of the prism. Draw the outline of the prism. So, when we got the outline of the prism, it looks like what? Triangle. Mark the vertices of that prism. Mark the vertices of the prism. I marked the vertices as P, Q and R. R. P, Q and R. R. So this is the thing what we have to understand first. P, Q, R are the vertices of the triangle what we mark. And we need to find the angle at the surface P, Q and P, R. What will be the angle here you will be get? A is equal to? 60 degrees. Why? Because it is an equilateral triangular prism. Equilateral triangular prism. So the angle of prism will be 60 degrees. Now, I need to make a point, mark a point on the PQ surface. That point will be the point of incidence. At that point, I'm, I need to draw a normal. I need to draw a normal. So normal I am marking with the dotted line. I got the normal here. I'm taking a protractor and placing the center of the protractor coincides with the M. Zero degrees will be coincides with the normal. PQ will be coincides with the 90 degrees. With certain angle of incidence. Let I am going to consider the angle of incidence is 30 degrees. Okay. I marked the point at 30 degrees. By using scale, I am going to join the 30 degrees line with the point M which is point of incidence. This is the incident ray now. Okay. Now, placing the prism again on the same place where I picked up in previous, I am going to place it on the same place of the prism. I am prism in the place of the prism. Now, I am going to take two pins. I gave the two pins name as A and B. I gave the two pins name as A and B. Carefully I am going to dip these two pins are in the same line of incidence. Now, observing from the other surface of the prism, observing from the other surface of the prism, I need to place the two pins, two more pins, having the same, they, they also should be in the same line. They also should be in the same line. Observe from this side, you will be get P, A, B are the two pins which we incident in the P, Q side. C, D are the two more pins which are in the same line. They are in the same line. Observe it. Yes, sir. So if you observe from this side, you will be get A, B, C, D are in the same line. A, B and C, D are in the same line. Observe from this side. 